One is cheaper property taxes. $9 a year property tax. Um, property tax is usually not that expensive, you know what I mean? But number two, assets over liabilities. Yeah, so basically we pay this land off, like we, we bought the land. Um, you know, usually you can just buy a um, $400,000, $300,000 house up front. So then even though it's a, a asset in ways, you know, because you own it, yeah, um, it is still a liability because you are still paying it off. Um, so not saying that you shouldn't be proud or that's not the route to go. Cause you know, it's definitely perks like, you know, equity and things like that. Um, so definitely, you know, do it, whatever you want to do, but that's why. Self-sufficiency is number three. How to, um, pull in all electrical water, you know, just like everything being like, um, depending on ourselves and each other. So to make this land um, an off-grid, um, livable um, place, it's, it's super cool. I just, we really like that. Um, yeah, we just like that. I guess you can say we like, I guess you can say we like a challenge. Number four is experience. Um, the just whole experience of this lifestyle, something that we both wanted to do. So now we both are getting to do that. And it's, it's always like super, <laughs> always super great when you get to do um, things that, you know, you're passionate about. So, um, you know, reach for the stars and, you know, do whatever you want to do. Life is so short, you know, so just go for it. Number five is privacy. I mean, we're off grid, don't really have neighbors. Uh, we're on an acre of land. Some people have like way more. You mean maybe we'll be them people in the future, but right now for our first land at um in our twenties, um that we paid off completely, so we're not in debt. Um yeah, there we on an acre, so there's no there's no um neighbor like basically if we wanted to go out and walk new we can be nudists like we can do whatever basically <sighs> number six is generational wealth um yeah generational wealth i mean i want my kids 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 i would like this property stay in a family i named it after my sister um shika parashika and i would you know personally like this you know land this this one to stay in the, the family and you know um just be able to give um generations and generations uh, a starting ground number seven is investment opportunities we have a lot of plots we can put about five six tinies um on this lot and uh be um yeah making a decent amount of money number eight is no hoa fees um it just, I mean, you look that up. If you know what HOA fees and all of those and what that entails, then you know, um, you probably know why I didn't want to. And um, you probably have your reasons why you wanted to. So uh, number nine, not as many restrictions. So uh, we live out of the county limit. Um, they definitely still have their own laws and things like that. But when you live off grid, like I do, there's... um. There's definitely less um, restrictions. So, and I guess that goes back with like the HOAs and all that. So it doesn't have walls like these ones. Like, you know, you have a home and um, you can have walls and do that on there. And like, basically like if you was to lose a job and you was on a mortgage and that say that mortgage was pretty high up or, you know, you have up and, you know, not wanting to, lose your house and have to file bankruptcy and things like that because jumped into something and now you owe and we don't do we don't owe something called good debt but this is allowing us to make those um financial um decisions like that in the future our land to fall back on and if you got an rv then you're good out here there's no cars um you do hear occasional um Planes. We have planes that fly over the our land, Sheikah's farm. So that's really cool that um, that happens, and it just is really peaceful. But it's really quiet. You don't hear anything. Um, the stars out here are so like beautiful. 
Um, we don't have street lights. Uh, we just have solar lights. We're completely off grid. Um, yeah, it's just peace and quiet. It's just if you're longing for that peaceful life and you know want to be, then just buy some land. At least buy some land once. All right, last one, 13. We wanted to. We wanted to. And if you want to do something like this, do it.